Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be a quick follow-up video to the uh, oil catch can video that I just did. Um, I just want to show anyone that's using an LFX, whether it's in an RX-8 um, or, you know, in a Camaro or another swap, um, the um, crankcase ventilation system on the LFX motor and, um, you know, a modification that should be done to the earlier LFX motors. Uh, I found a thread on a forum. I'm going to link it in the description below. But let me go over it real quick. Now, before I do that, let me show you. Um, I just want to describe to you basically, really quick, on the way the crankcase system, ventilation system works. So you've got um, a vacuum here on the motor and so it actually without the oil catch can it pulls the air from this little orifice and the back of the um, the passenger side or the right hand side of your uh, valve cover and it actually pulls it up from the back of the cylinder head and pulls pressure over from this side of the crankcase where you've got an extra valve here or it's really just an elbow, it's not even a valve. Um, and then it pulls fresh air in from your um, intake tube before the throttle body. Now, what I've seen some people do, and I mentioned it in my video before, I don't know why I was saying, I think I was a little bit delirious or low on sleep, but I was saying, you know, I've got to figure out what to do with this. You don't do anything with this. This stays connected to your intake so it has clean air so that when your, your engine has vacuum, it pulls clean air through your crankcase and gets all the um, oil vapors and everything out of your crankcase. And that's why on this side, you want to um, pull those um, oil vapors and, and everything out of here and into a catch can so it cleans it before going back into the engine. Um, but there's one thing, like I said, and I'll put in the um, in the description, I'll put the link to the forum where there's a, a thread discussing this crankcase ventilation valve. Um, and so, and th my engine, as you can see, the orifice here, um, let's see if I can zoom in here for you. So, it's a late 2013 engine, and so that's actually when they made this change for the crankcase uh, valve right here. Pre-2013 or mid-2013, you had barely bigger than a pinhole in this, and they tried to control the rate at which the crankcase uh, actually flows and ventilates by the size of that uh, orifice and so they made it way too small and uh, I guess they learned their mistake after a couple years and they put these bigger valves in but what you need to do is drill into the top of this and there's two holes in the bottom of it you need to make bigger as well otherwise they can gum up really quick and then you get blockage on this side this whole cylinder head then gets issues with um, oil gunk buildup and everything in there and then the only way for positive crankcase pressure to get out is out of this elbow where there's no kinds of um, filters or anything to go through. It's just a big open elbow and then it's going to throw all those vapors back into your intake. So um, you just want this constant cycle going and in order to do that on the earlier pre-2013 orders. Now you can't get this elbow. I've seen some people ask online whether you can get this elbow or not, um, or this CCV valve from the later 2013s. And as far as I know, it comes in this valve cover on the later motors. And so um, it's, it's easy for you to just grab it though with some pliers and pop it out and then drill it out and, uh, and then just clean it up really good. Uh, so that way you don't have that back build up. Now, if you have a, a um, mid 2013 or later you'll see you know it's got the bigger holes in it um you don't have to do anything with that but you know don't go using a, a oil catch can that either vents to atmosphere or um, has both sides of the um, the engine's v 
into the into the um, the oil catch can and then venting to atmosphere or, or coming back into here. That's not the way that the uh, crankcase ventilation system is designed to work on the LFX motor. Uh, so anyway, I hope that was helpful. And um, you know, if you got any questions, just let me know, and uh, I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Thanks. Take it easy.